introduction sort of thing. Now, if you look at the internet or if you look at the supply chain books, this is one of the definitions which has been given on the uh, in the books about the supply chain that it is a network of individuals, organization, resources, technology involved in the creation and the sale of product. Now, if you see this one, the moment you hear this thing or you read the thing, you just get something confusion in your mind that this course is never going to be me and I am not made for the supply chain. In one of other definitions I saw, it's written there is a connected system of organization information resources designed to source, produce goods from the origination to the final destination. Typically a consumer or supplier to end customer. Still pretty confusing for me also. And the definition Wikipedia is saying is a sequence of processes involved in the production and distribution of a commodity. Now, if asked, if, if we ask ourselves a question, it seems to be very difficult. And I think you will agree with this, with this kind of definitions. If it is trying to be promoting the supply chain, it's not helping. So let's go to the easiest version of supply chain. Now, a supply chain is a simple process where you have an input, you have a process, and you have an output. Now, if this project or if this process adds value to your exit to your organization and it satisfies the customer's requirement, this is a supply chain. And it's involved few people inside and which I just wanted to clarify. There are demand creators. There will be a source, which is a supplier. There will be an action, which usually we call it as a logistics. And then we give it to the end user. So this is actually a very little bit about supply chain, the most simpler version. This is actually what is supply chain. The supply chain is not the, we are, will be using buzzwords. We will explain you and I will explain you and I will prove it to you that it is very simple than what is written in the books. So myths of the supply chain, let's go. What are the myths? Uh, for me, supply chain is a very simple process, but people say it is very harsh. It has always been presented in a very difficult and a complicated way. And um, usually because of this, supply chain was only associated with the purchasing activity. And um, it was thought like, okay, this knowledge, even for not certification for the knowledge is only useful for the people who are working in the commercial department. So that is one of the myths and certifications are difficult and useful useful for some of the professionals only and it's required very high level of knowledge and it's being but the actual reality is that the supply chain is being practiced by everyone every single day but we usually ignore it so let's see why i am saying that supply chain is for everyone and we are all executing supply chain every day every single day now if you ask me as a normal person to i will stop here and say what you are talking about it's not possible so let's say what i'm trying to explain here is we should ask ourselves some questions and we will have the answers by ourselves do we hire professionals to do grocery for our house we have people with children also have we got any training on buying clothes for yourself and your family I don't think so. Everybody is buying clothes from the scratch scratch when he was just not married and now he's married and he has family. Do we go for training for buying our kids at toys and to fulfill this demand? This is also a demand. And we don't do any diploma to find which items are needed, what price we are going to pay for it and where we can find this cheaper. We don't do any sort of diploma for doing all those things. And if we want to buy a laptop, we don't hire professionals. So this means that we already on a day to day basis are acting as a role of a supply chain manager, but we usually ignore it. Now, the last and the most important example is that if I like something as a favorite meal, I don't hire a restaurant cook. I don't ask an expert. Please tell me how to make this recipe. I source, I purchase and I become a supply chain professional. And this is there by birth, but we do usually ignore this kind of facts. So let's start with why I'm trying to say all these things. So uh, my home is a supply chain cycle. 
so let's see how i say it's my is it's a supply chain cycle there was always in the home you have demand and need creator which is usually wives mother daughters sisters brothers so they are the demand creator they only go to one person who has falus in his baggy which is the money the father usually or the big boss in the house so they tell them that we need this and he then become a role of he takes a role of a purchasing manager without any training without any certification he is the purchasing manager now he goes to a mall and try to find out if it's a grocery need he maybe goes to a car for so we have people from india also so you can just ask any of a grocery chain there so since we are in this part of the world so carrefour is very famous in uae and if we want to buy clothes we go to a departmental store and if we want to go for outing we go to malls and dinners so now this person is deciding all those things based on like he goes there he decides everything and then he has only one concentration is his mind what will be the price what will be the value for money do i have the budget is it urgent or not so you see just by a father normally or a person like me is having a role of a purchasing manager but we do usually don't think about these things and we usually get confused that supply chain is very much difficult but every day day on day day on day we follow the same sequence of events and we arrange the logistics we buy it either going by picking on them giving an online order through courier to whatever it may be and finally it's needs my demand or the need creator whether my daughter wife or son or something so this means that every day in our house we are behaving like a supply chain manager so but we don't realize it so i am also a supply chain guru on day to day basis okay so let's take another example now in the organization people say all the commercial department is responsible for supply chain now i have taken an example of an hr department now we always know that hr department will only act if you have a demand from a user that if he wants to hire a person now this things he becomes a demand creator and a need generator now so he goes to hr manager he tells him because he is the hiring process manager so he tell them i want to hire a person now the hr manager is specialized in hr he goes to local recruit like a website application sort of thing or he go outside to find an outsourced partner or a foreign recruit or he arranges and walk in interview now doing all these things he keeps in mind what is the budget available for the company manpower resources what are the skills required the competency the qualification and urgency now here the only change is that instead of buying a product we are going to buy a person or we going to hire a person who can do work for the organization but it is a similar process to a supply chain now he goes into the market tell people i am hiring get somebody on board do the interviews make him available for the company welcome him on board and later on give it to the user department so if you see this kind of activities also it is also a supply chain cycle but people usually get confused and they only see that okay supply chain is only applicable to the commercial department so i just wanted to clarify this myth this is not true even a hr person can take a supply chain management course and do lots and lots of value added services or give value added services within his hr project also and he will be like appreciated for his efforts because he understand the whole cycle so we saw also that hr process is also a supply chain process but we usually ignore it and don't realize it so hr can be a supply chain guru also and the most important department is the finance department now finance person will say what i have to do with the supply chain cycle but if you see in the organization you have manager you have management you have purchase you have payroll and supplier payments and everything now this requires cash now these people all need cash and they are the demand creator for the cash they tell all these things to the finance manager who is responsible for the funding of all the processes 
okay so he has a budget he has a requirement he has a cash flow he has a time frame he has a schedule he knows the urgency of when the things are going to be needed so he goes into the market and he see what internal funds or sources of incomes he have he use some banking instruments if the cash is shortfall because he has to balance balance the payments or he also checks the sales and revenue the receivables and everything now after doing that there will be a shortfall or not a shortfall he goes to uh, the, he arrange all these things and do payroll and he pay customer invoices also and he do a lot of uh, he, like he give money to the management also which is the return on investment and fulfills the need of the organization so here also finance activities even though they look like very complicated or not nothing to do with the supply chain but they are also a supply chain cycle because there is a need for a cash and this person sitting in a finance is making sure that he does whatever he wants to do makes a logistics arrangement keep all the end users happy and meets their demand also now i can also say he is also a supply chain guru so this is just to explain you guys that there are lots and lots of uh, activities like uh, in banks in trainings in sales and distribution and we can make a similar diagram which who is the need creator who is the people who is working behind the scenes to make this need come true and make the organization add value to for its services and make the things happen now with respect to career prospects having said that that it is equally applicable to each and every one or what no matter which department which uh, process you are working for so it is going to be equally beneficial so what are the, some of the career prospects let's have a look on one by one now the supply chain professionals are always in demand for one good reason if you have a cost effective sourcing you know what's the best way to get them into your organization it will give you a competitive edge and then you can have a price edge over your competitors and you can give a competitive price to the customers so if in terms of hr if i know about supply chain and if i know the processes if i know how cost effective sourcing of the people i can do what are the channels available online whether i go and have collaborations with some of the outsourcing agencies or recruitment agencies where i can save money so it will have an upper edge and i will be able to reduce the cost the overhead cost of my organization and believe me or not even though in pandemic uh, supply chain has been a sustainable job prospects okay the people who started laying off was mostly like the quality people and all these people they are also very important but the thing is that supply chain because this is the backbone of the company the people has more sustainable rate if you compare to other professions they are backbone of the organization which i already told you okay this person who has a supply chain professional degree or certification or working for a supply chain and understand the knowledge of supply chain can reach the management level even though if you don't reach the you could run your own business nobody can bully you nobody can tell you sir this is costly this is you because you know the knowledge behind that so the you will have a better control over your employees and it's a good career path also and if we compare the salaries as i found this one on the ua website also if you see that there are good numbers written there which is if you see the level of experience and the numbers which are associated with that i don't think so with less than 2 years experience you will be able to earn 20880 dirhams with any other job so this is a comparison done by some companies not by us but this is what has been publicly made available by the ua uh, data centers okay so now the certification path there are most many certifications okay it's really depending upon what sort of level you want to start with you have basic knowledge about this one or you want to be a high knowledge so there are some foundation courses also available level for account from accounta is there which is from usa and then the apics which is most leading certification 
okay and there are certified lead security management systems for supply chain management also which is issued by iso organization okay so every course in its own domain start from foundation then you become a practitioner then you become an advanced practitioner and then really if you want to progress your career so you can take the security management and the security management system seems to be a very big word and you may be wondering why security is important for the supply chain so just give you a glimpse of what why the security management systems are important that if you have some circumstances like pandemic and recently in uae uh, uk there was a lockdown and they crossed uh, they closed the border now you have raw material you have materials on this side of the border also on that side of the border also now the government is not allowing them to pass so that is also a big hurdle to secure because i can't keep my end users my public like uh, without any uh, requirements what they have for food or medical aid or everything and then sometimes what happens is that due to political unrest the ships don't get to their destinations also so this is the concept given by iso that you need to secure your logistics you have to have an alternative arrangement that if this doesn't work the other thing will work so that is how this all things are working so these are like uh, some of the certification paths we have and there are other more also this is just to give you a glimpse about the certification path now let's discuss something about um, myself i am just a supply chain professional um, and uh, like uh, i'm still learning okay so and we have lots and lots of opportunity to learn and there is no age for learning so i am continuing this journey and if anyone of you would like to participate in this journey we will be more than happy to help you with this one and a uh, little bit about delphi what delphi has to offer is we concentrate more of more of our efforts on learning and knowledge there is a flexibility of classes we give career guidance also and uh, we give you the erp hands on training also just to give you a glimpse because everything is happening on it platform so we don't only give you the academic knowledge we we'll try to give you some sort of hands on experience on how to raise a purchase requisition how to create an hr uh, needs analysis or the need requirement and then how it process through the erp system and how it goes to the purchase order and then logistics warehousing and everything and uh, definitely like we give you enough knowledge uh, enough opportunities to upgrade your knowledge and to career progression and the whole aim will be to make you industry ready not certification ready because if you don't earn anything from the industry and you still have to go and struggle so that's not the aim of uh, our sitting in delphi and it doesn't add value to you it doesn't add value to us at the end of the day everybody acquires a knowledge acquires a certification to make his career advance and enhance his earning capacity so we will we will try to make you like more industry specific examples and give you so that once you join your organization when they, whether in hr department finance supply chain or any other things where supply chain value chain analysis works you should be you should not be like confused you should be very clear how to make the transaction done so that you are ready for you are ready and you are like preferred by most of the employers and uh, now we have like uh, this was a very short presentation sort of thing and uh, like we are open for question and answers if anyone has a specific questions yeah my my excuse me my question related to the certification for the this is api uh, the api ca i think uh, for the professional supply chain how you are uh, uh, helping to 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 be certified and uh, the, if if i need to to start uh, this journey to to have this certificate okay so like um, if you see the apics is the most renowned one for time, like uh, in this one and people like you who are already engaged with the logistics warehousing so it becomes easier for them to acquire this knowledge so we what we will do there is a course uh, specific to apics 
Now, Apex also like give uh, training aids and everything. So we use the same thing, and uh, we help you to understand the theories related to demand, supply, and the chain uh, value chain analysis, and what are the bullwhip effect. If I have to go into deep into that, so there are some course materials which specifically has to be completed, which will enable you to answer the questions, and uh, like. Uh, they have structured their courses in such a way that some questions will be from the demand side some will be uh, considering the supply side and some will be considering the end user side now we will explain you how to like the course material so we, give, we will go through the course uh, subject or the course presentations and everything and then we will also help you to understand and uh, how to attempt the questions and answers because having a knowledge is one thing Attempting questions is a different story and you need to they specifically ask you simple questions like if this one is Related to if this is a process what will be the most important thing with respect to the supplier? What will be the most expected one outcome for the end user? So we need to understand all these three dimensions So what we do is that there is a normal course procedure there are question and answer sessions Okay, and then we can give you some uh, videos also depending upon the level of uh, Engagement you want to have with Delphi and then I think mr. Uh, Sham or mr. Bibin can explain you more the things some so we give like all the three things we give you the course material uh, We give you the course contents whatever has been uh, published by API CS we help you with the question and answer We also explain you how the ERP works the supply chain works on an ERP so it's a blend of all those three four things. So it's not a standard way of teaching. It's a practical way of teaching uh, Okay, thank you so much And uh, and how many sessions uh, should around how many? Should be? Look, it really depends upon your capacity because uh, some of the people they join uh, weekend classes so if you join a two-hour class so uh, like if it is 40 hours class, so you just can see how much so it's really depends upon how much time you want to put on this one So one 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 to one sessions will have a different prospect. Okay, the other sessions will have a different prospects But um, we usually yeah, go with the capacity. We usually go with the capacity 40, of the individual Approximately I'm just saying approximately. Okay. Okay. That's, yeah. that's, if you that's really want to like four question and answers so we can't say no to the people <laughs> we don't say no yeah, to the people. Yeah, if you want to learn mm -hmm. if you want to acquire knowledge no problem at, at all <laughs> yes yes sure sure and and the, the you will also uh, uh, you you as you said the, the material and all of that and and the exam itself i, I will i will handle it by myself with the, with the registration i think the commercial arrangement i think um, uh, mr Bibin and other people can explain you because there are okay. different packages okay. available with them. So as a facilitator, I don't want to go into a commercial. Yeah, yeah. Then exactly. Yeah, no, uh -huh. no, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Okay, you, let, let's <laughs> let's talk later for that. Thank you. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. No problem. Sir. Any other person like who wants to know? There were a lot of people. And they are like one or two people from India also. And I think he was trying to ask me questions during the start of the session. So if somebody wants to ask, I'm available. Or uh, Mr. Kashif, uh, for me, I yes. don't have any questions. Uh, so, actually, you was very helpful. Thank, thank you very much. But about the registration uh, and all of this, I I need to speak to the uh, commercial yes. department. We've been, uh, we've been all the Delphi people because usually I don't want to get myself involved in the commercial part because hmm. then it becomes a conflict of interest. I don't want to sell myself. As if no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. just uh, explain us about the... Uh, yeah, I just wanted uh, to clarify it that hmm. we are as a dad, we are as a brother, as a, hmm. as a head of the family, we always <coughs> behave like a supply chain manager, but we never realize it. And we think it's a very big, big uh, words and all this. So that was the whole idea, actually. Actually, supply chain management it's everywhere, and it's uh, yeah, it's everywhere. It's very useful if you if you don't want to take it for uh, like for career, you can take it for yourself for your yeah, yeah. Uh, normal activities and the day activities. Do you know what I mean? So it's involved in everywhere, and I know that yeah, yeah. I work already in that. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
to have the certificate, you will be certified. You can work yes. in this field as a certified person, not like a normal person. Yeah. But as as uh, yani for someone he he never work in this field or uh, his knowledge he don't have knowledge in the supply chain. Which certificate mm -hmm. it's the best for him? Okay, let's let's uh, talk about Akanta uh, because uh, these are the two courses offered by Delphina. In Akanta, they have uh, the batch system, which is more popular uh, in America now. So in the batch system, what happens is that just like if you have heard about CIA, CP and all these things, which is a mostly a financial thing. So once you pass this application, uh, this thing, they give you a batch. And this badge is certified everywhere by third party certifiers. So if I don't write anything that I am th at this, I just show my badge that I am this level of supply chain. So it becomes yeah. good for him. So even foundation is very good because it gives you certain batches. So the big batch I mean is just like an award. For example, if I have to write my profile, so I will write I am on a Kanta level 7.0. So it's just like a good scoring for the people who understand this thing. So if I say I am CSCP certified, so I don't have to say anything else. People will understand by themselves that he he's a knowledgeable person. He knows what he has done. So certification only helps you with this one. But if a person, if he have zero knowledge, he will be doing, he will be purchasing something at his home also. So this statement, sometimes it becomes very harsh for the people because everybody has a knowledge. It's just to click their subconscious mind with the definition. So he will realize that, okay, every day I'm cooking meal at home. I'm buying myself. I don't hire supply chain professional. So that's why I wanted to associate with a home. Everybody has this knowledge, but we really don't realize it. We are practicing mm -hmm. every day. Yeah, you're correct. Yeah. Okay, I have my last question. Now, yes, uh, sir. after, let's say after I passed the... Uh, the training everything i am certified all of this uh delphi they can uh help us or they have they can guide us uh about the work about uh, where to apply about what we should do and they can guide us in the future yes definitely i think so uh, my association with delphi and i think if shamsar is there he is the most right person to answer this but my association with delphi as always tell that whenever people come they give career guidance and tell them all those things about where to apply and uh, uh, and usually if you have this certification so you mm -hmm. are opening a door for yourself in any organization anywhere in the world because these are uh, like certification accepted all over the world it's not only in uae or saudi or somewhere so if yeah, you have yeah, a certification correct. it opens doors for you for everything yeah correct Anyway, thank you very much, Mr. Kashif, for this uh, session. No problem. Mr. No thank no you, thank problem. you. Really. So during the last screen, I think um, everybody knows uh, like uh, the Delphi star. So if you have any queries, and I think Bibin will be there to if Bibin is there or Sham sir is there. Yeah, not it, sir. Not it, sir. So any other questions or? Uh, Mr. Kashif? Yes, sir. Yeah, no problem. So any other student has any doubts, sir? You can ask Mr. Kashif, sir. Mr. Ishad, do you have any question? No, sir. Yeah, fine. Thank you, sir. Mr. Musa, do you have any questions, sir? No, no, no. Thank you. I finished my questions. I guess our webinar was useful for you, sir. The, it was informative and you could get able to get, you know, uh, some clarity or, about the supply chain, right? Yes, yes. It was very helpful. Fine. Thank you, sir. So Thank our you. consultant will get in touch with you, sir, uh, regarding yeah, all the, please, please. Along with other details, right? Mm. Yeah. yeah, let them be in touch with me. Uh, yeah. Also, I have a lot of questions for the <laughs> No problem. That's fine. Uh, no, yeah. no problem. No yeah. Okay. Thank you.
But a uh, last question for you. Uh, about the training, it will be in classroom or it will be online? No, you are from which country, sir? Which, you are from I which am country? here. I, I am in Dubai. You are in Dubai. See, basically, yeah. I'll tell you one thing. Even Dubai also, now most of the people are taking now online training only. Till now. Right. Okay. But if you want to come to office, you are most welcome. No problem. Uh, there will be team there. There will be classmate. There will be... Uh, like class the real class because i am not you know i'm not uh active much active in online i try online no, no issues no issues fine no that's possible no. that's quite possible no bro, no, bro. Yeah. thank you very much okay so with this i think we can end the session uh, yeah. if uh, yeah. Yeah. all the people are okay with that yes thank you sir thank you sir thank you thank you